hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make this uh very cute yarn with a uh, little ruffles around the edges so what you're gonna need is you'll need two kinds of yarn one for the main body and one for the sides so i use this kind of yarn it's the thick yarn and also i used a crochet hook which is 5.0 millimeters okay so let's get started Okay, so we're going to start with a chain three. So we're going to do chain one, two, three. And then starting from the second chain from the hook, we're going to do two single crochet. So single crochet in each chain. So we're going to do single crochet, one and single crochet, two. Okay, and then we're going to chain one and turn. Okay, so in the second row we are going to increase each stitch for a total of four stitches so we're going to increase the first stitch and increase the next one too okay so again we're going to chain one and turn so every time you're turning to begin a new row make sure you chain one and then turn okay so now in our third row we are going to start by increasing then we do single crochet in the next two stitches then increase okay so basically we're going to increase at both ends and then do single crochet in the middle okay so we're going to do we're going to increase first and then do single crochet in each stitch single crochet single crochet and then increase at the end okay so that makes it a total of six stitches okay so again we're going to chain one and then turn Okay, and in our fourth row, we're going to do the same thing. So increase at both ends and then do single crochets in the middle. Okay, so we're going to increase. And then do single crochet across. And then again, we're going to increase at the end. Okay, and then we're going to do chain one and turn again okay so again we're going to start by increasing and then do single crochet and increase at the end okay so increase okay and then single crochet one two three four five six and increase at the end and then chain one and turn okay so now from the next row which is the sixth row until the tenth row you're going to repeat the same process so increase at both ends and then do single crochet across and then turn okay so you're going to repeat that for the next six rows so for the next row until row 10 and then i'll see you when you're done with the 10th row so that we start the 11th row together okay so now after you're done with the 10th row you should have a total of 20 stitches Okay, so now we're going to start for the with the eleventh row, and we're going to do a chain one, and for the eleventh row we're going to do single crochet all the way across. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Okay, so continue doing single crochet all the way until you get here at the end. Okay, so when you get to the end, you're going to do single crochet at the very last stitch and then you're going to chain one and turn. 
Okay, so now in our twelfth row, we're going to start by increasing at the end. Okay, so remember how we did in the first rows. So we're going to increase at both ends and then do 18 single crochet in between. Okay, so we're going to increase and do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Okay, and continue. Okay, so you're going to continue with single crochet until you have one uh, single crochet remaining here at the end or until you have one stitch remaining at the end. Okay, so after you get to the last stitch, we are going to increase at the end. And then we're going to do chain one and turn. Okay, so now after that, now we have a total of 22 stitches. Okay, so now for the next two rows, which is row 13 and row 14, you're going to do single crochet all the way across in each row for a total of 22 stitches in each row. Okay, so we're going to continue and do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Okay, so you're going to continue with single crochet all the way across until you get to the end. And when you get to the end, you do a chain one. And also in the next row, which is the 14th row, you're going to do single crochet again all the way across. Okay, so I'll see you when you're done with the 14th row so that we start the 15th row together. Okay, so when we get to the end of the 14th row, we're going to do a chain one and turn. Okay, so now for the 15th row, we're going to start by increasing at the end and then do 20 single crochet and increase again at the end for a total of 24 stitches. Okay, so we're going to do two to do an increase first and then do a single crochet all the way across. Okay, and then when you get to the end in the last stitch, we are going to increase. And then we are going to do a chain one and turn. Okay, so now in our 16th row, we are going to do single crochet all the way across for a total of 24 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Okay, so continue doing single crochet all the way to the end. Okay, so now when we get to the end of the 16th row, uh, this is how it should look like. So now we're going to do a chain one and turn. So now in our next row, which is our 17th row, we're going to start making the little bumps over here, which is this side and this side. And we're going to do each one separate, separately. Okay, so we're going to start with one end. Okay, so which is the right side. And we're going to start by doing 12 single crochets. So we do single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so after we do that, uh, we're going to do a chain one and turn. So now in our 18th row, we're going to start by decreasing. So we're going to do a decrease. And then we are going to do a single crochet all the way across, which is 10 single crochets. So we're going to have a total of 11 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay and then we are going to do a chain one and turn Okay, so now for the 19th row, we're going again to start by decreasing. 
so we're going to decrease and then we're going to do seven single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six and seven okay so after the seven single crochets we are going to decrease at the end okay so we're going to do one decrease okay and then again we do a chain one and turn and then in our 20th row we're going to start by decreasing so we're going to do a decrease and then five single crochets so single crochet one two three four five and then decrease again at the end so decrease so now we have a total of uh, seven stitches okay so again we're going to do a chain one and then in our 21st row which is our last row we're going to start by decreasing And then we're going to do one single crochet and then again we're going to decrease two times so you're going to decrease the first time and decrease again the last time okay and then after that you're just going to chain one okay so after the chain one you're just going to cut off the yarn and finish off okay so now on the other side we're going to do the same way we did on this other side so you're going to attach your yarn over here where you attached the first one when you're doing on this side and then you're going to start by making 12 single crochet and then repeat the same process until you reach here at the end and then after that make the other one and we're going to join the two together Okay, so now after you're done with the other part, now we're going to uh, attach the two parts together and you have to make sure they're in line. So make sure uh, both the ends are on the same level and on all the other ends also. Okay, so now I'm going to use this uh, pink yarn or the hot pink yarn or you can use any other kind of yarn you want. Uh, to attach the two parts and I'm going to put my crochet hook over here and pull my yarn through so you have to tie a knot first or you can just um, do a chain one so I'm going to do that and do a chain one and then I'm going to do single crochet all the way across okay so then I'm going to do single crochet all the way across so I'm going to go from this end to the other end and do single crochet okay do the same thing single crochet single crochet Okay, so you have to make sure both your sides are in line with each other. Single crochet. Okay, so you're going to continue doing single crochet until you have little part over here remaining. Because before we close the whole thing, we have to stuff our heart first and then we finish closing it okay so i'll see you when you get here so that i show you how to stuff and how to make the ruffles okay so now before i close off my hat completely i'm going to put in the filling first okay so you can put as much as you like if you want a puffy heart uh you can make it put it uh as much okay so I don't want mine too puffy, I just want it uh, a little bit puffy, not too much. Ok, 
Okay, so I think this is the last one I'm gonna put. Okay, and then after we are done doing that, after we're done stuffing, we're just going to continue with our single crochet all the way round. Okay, so I'm going to continue and do my single crochets. Okay, and then you're going to continue like that until you get here at the end okay so now after we get to the end this is how our little heart looks like as you can see it turned out so pretty okay so now we're going to start making the ruffles all the way around and we're going to start by doing a chain three so one two and three okay so this one counts as the first treble and in the beginning chain, you're going to do two trebles in the same stitch, okay? So we're going to do the first treble. And then do another one in the same stitch. Okay, and then to do the other trebles, we are, the other ruffles, we are going to do three trebles in the same stitch. Okay, so in each stitch, you're going to do three trebles. Okay, so one, and then do another treble in the same stitch, two, And the last one, three. Okay, and then you're going to keep repeating that. So three treble also in the next stitch. So one. Two. and three okay so you're going to continue like that all the way to the end so you do three treble in each stitch all the way around until you get here at the end okay so guys after you're done uh this is how your heart should look like okay so to finish off i'm going to go here at the center stitch and then I'm going to slip stitch like that. And then I'm going to cut off my yarn. Okay, and then we're going to do the finishing. of the yarn okay so now if you want you can leave your heart like that but for me I'm going to embroider some words here at the middle just using a needle and a yarn and then I'll show you how it's gonna look like okay so guys as you can see I've already finished embroidering the words so I just wrote here love you with just uh, a needle and some red yarn okay so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and check out my other videos until next time bye